Ooh, welcome to NewsChannel5.com. I'm meteorologist Leland Statham on this Wednesday afternoon. We've had some nice sunshine, but as we go in the afternoon, we'll call it a mix of sun and clouds, but that sunshine will help us warm up into the 80s again today. Exact track doesn't show a lot as far as rain is concerned for us out there. Now, as we work our way into the uh, evening hours, here we go with a little bit of a rain chance that's moving in over Middle Tennessee and Southern Kentucky. As far as tomorrow is concerned, fronts coming through with that front, it's going to be hit and, and, and miss. I don't think it's an all-day nonstop rain, but scattered showers, even a couple of thunderstorms. And we'll watch as a pretty impressive line that can move toward us as we head toward tomorrow evening and early on Friday. Doesn't look like it's going to be a big-time severe weather event, but as these things come in here, we'll keep an eye for the fact that one or two could possibly be on the strong side. But right now, we'll get this out of here. Now, the front comes through Friday morning. There could still be a little bit of residual moisture out there early Friday. Friday before things begin to dry out. So if you've got plans for this evening, there you go with the setup for those of you who may be headed out to Wednesday night church service. Here is another look at exact track from the statewide view for us out there. And again, improving weather as we work our way into Saturday and Sunday. So here's how Real Sky shows it out as far as the breakdown on your Friday, 61 at 7, 70 at noon. And with the extra cloud cover and rain, tomorrow's high only at 74, 74 Friday, back between 75 and 80 this weekend. Our weather artist for you today, Jada from Nolansville Elementary School. Jada loves spring. So Jada, hopefully you're enjoying the sunshine on this pretty April day. Meanwhile, our school of the day, Northeast Middle in Clarksville, got a note from Deborah Hollingsworth, a teacher over there, says we are a fantastic school, got a great teacher and principal in Tracy Hollinger, and we've done many great things. Our robotics team did very well uh, in a recent competition, and our National History Day team did a great job in the National History Day competition, pulling honors for first, second, and third. So y'all go. Everybody over at Northeast Middle in Clarksville, happy Wednesday to you. As always, thank you much for stopping by newschannel5.com. Have a good afternoon.